This morning we're going to talk about the sales process. Well, I'm going to talk about the sales process. You can listen for 90 minutes and then you can ask some questions. Uh, and then we'll talk about the sales process. Uh, today, this morning is about re-engineering the sales process. So what I'm going to do this morning is introduce you to a radically different approach to the design, the resourcing and the management of the sales process. And the essential characteristic or the most obvious characteristic of this new approach to the sales process is that the kind of process that I'm advocating is going to put your salespeople in a position where they perform four to five business development appointments a day, five days a week, week in, week out, year after year. So four to five appointments a day, five days a week. What that means, of course, is that salespeople perform no activities other than business development appointments. Four to five appointments a day, five days a week. You get the idea? Who would like to see their salespeople performing four to five business development appointments a day, five days a week? Okay. But of course, that's not typically the case. In a typical organization, salespeople perform two business development appointments a week. Not a day, two business development appointments a week. So I'm suggesting that it's possible, not just possible, that it's realistic, that it's practical, and that it's beneficial to increase your salespeople's volume of business development activity by 10 times by a order of magnitude from two business development appointments a week to 20 business development appointments a day, four a day, five days a week. The benefits you'll get from that, aside from a 10 times increase in business development activity, we, what we see in most organizations, and assuming the organization has reasonable fundamentals, is we see a doubling of sales volumes after the increase in operating expense. So we would expect a double sales volumes net of increased operating expenses. We'd expect to see a significant increase in customer service quality, um, an elimination of interdepartmental friction, particularly friction between sales and fulfillment. Does anyone have friction here between sales and fulfillment? By fulfillment, I mean production and distribution. Uh, and most importantly of all, this approach to the sales process puts management in a position where it can manage in an intelligent use of the word manage, as opposed to the normal sense in which the term manage is used with in and around sales processes, okay? Which is the most exciting thing of all, because what we find in organizations we work with, if we can give management the reins, then they can do some exciting things with the sales process. Most importantly, when they start to integrate the sales process tightly with production, with distribution, with new product development, the benefits for the organization as a whole of management having control in an intelligent sense of the word control can be significant. Now, 